What's up everybody? In this video, we are going to take a look at what happened to a fighting game. In this case, it's going to be Tekken 7. When you unlock the frame rate and play it at 60 FPS, 120 FPS, and 300 FPS. We'll do input lag comparisons between each settings. We'll also compare the difference, if any, to playing it at 60 FPS, but at a higher refresh rates. And lastly, I'll let you know whether the game is sped up and become unplayable at 300 FPS. Alright, the results are in. By the way, this thing took me a whole week to do, so give it a like, please. Alright, let's start with 60 FPS here. On average, I'm getting a 102 milliseconds of input delay. On the low end, I'm getting 88 milliseconds. And then on the high end, I'm getting 112. At 120 FPS, the average input delay, as you can see here, is a lot less. It's reduced to 69 and a half milliseconds. On the low end, I'm getting a 57 here, and then on the high end, I'm getting 83. At 300 FPS, the average input delay is going to be 51 milliseconds. On the low end, I'm getting 40 milliseconds of input delay, which is super quick. And on the high end, it's about 63. Looking at it as a whole, you can see 60 FPS. This is pretty slow, over 100 here. And as we increase the frame rate of the game, it goes down dramatically. And the input lag is reduced further still at 300 FPS. So literally going from 60 FPS to 300 FPS, we are able to reduce our input lag by half. That's gigantic. And these are the results I got from my last video in terms of playing the game at 60 FPS but at a high refresh rate. As you can see, it really does help it reduce the input lag quite a bit. So now let's compare this versus actually changing the frame rate. At 60 Hz, there's essentially around 100 milliseconds of input delay, and there's going to be a little bit of variation due to me using a different set of samples, but essentially they're the same. And going from 60 FPS at 120 Hz versus in 120 FPS, the input lag is reduced even further. You shave off another 14 milliseconds of input delay here. And at 300 Hz, 60 FPS, the input delay is pretty decent. It's around the same thing as playing it at 120 FPS. If you see these numbers, they're kind of the same. But as soon as we increase the frame rates to 300 FPS, check this out. Man, this is huge. You're getting another 17 milliseconds off your input delay. Now, the other question that I want to answer is, playing at 300 FPS, does that affect the gameplay at all? Does it speed up the game so much where it becomes unplayable? Now here we are in the game. I'm running the game at 60 FPS. And I've got the window for the player 1 speed up right here. I'm going to do some punches. And as you can see, there's around 6 milliseconds. Then let's set it to 120 frames per second. We're going to again do some punches here. And let's take a look to see if the speed of the player 1 changes at all, okay? Ah, still 6 milliseconds, check that out. Now at 300 frames per second, the punches are still at 6 milliseconds. So the speed of the moves do not change at all. Because the timing of the animation is the same, but then we got all these extra frames. So that's why the game appears to be stuttery. Now to solve that problem, you can enable interpolation. What this means is going to smooth out the character positions, the animations, and also camera angles as well. So I'm going to turn that on. And check this out, the game is not stuttery anymore. Look at that. 
it's all smooth again. All right, as you can see there, it doesn't really change the timing of the moves at all. Now I understand this is only one case, this is just one game, and it doesn't apply to every game out there, but I do wish that moving forward, that at least on the PC, that developers of fighting games will have a feature where you can unlock the frame rates. Now you're probably thinking that's gonna allow unfair advantage to the people who can afford more powerful machines. However, looking at these numbers, even at a locked frame rate, the higher refresh rates already allow for a lower input lag. And to me, this is not an unfair advantage. This is about responsiveness of the game. Having a more responsive game doesn't mean that you're great at the game. If you don't have knowledge of the game, then I don't care how many FPS you have, you're not gonna be good at the game. And when when you play the game at a higher FPS online, really the input lag depends on the network between the two people, right? So if your opponent is laggy, you're gonna be laggy too. Just imagine the ability of having a higher frame rate, having a more responsive game, perhaps in a local setting, right? So offline play, the game's gonna be so much more responsive, the game's gonna be so much more fun. Alright, that's gonna be it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and take care now.